Welcome to No Strings Attached Street Ministry. Today I want to show you a new item that I put on the van. Um, on those days that, um, you know, are dangerous times that you have to use your gas burner just to boil water. And uh, most of the things out here today uses just boiling water. You know, soups, uh, pasta side dishes, things like that. You can use just boiling water to make these items. Coffee, teas, um, hot chocolates, different things. But it just takes so long to set up and boil the water and all kinds of nonsense. And, uh, you know, the best thing that I've seen, I was thinking about it, I've got a battery bank of four batteries on my truck that I use all the time. And I've got plenty of battery space. I guess people with solar energy would have the same. Plus people with generators would have the same. You know, plenty of power around all the time. Um, but even if you're just on a one battery bank and a, you know, a 2,000 watt inverter, which is pretty common, you know, throughout the van community. Um, this is something here that takes really hardly any power out really at all. It's 1,500 watts draw. But we're going to see just how fast it takes to actually make this hot water in this thing. And it will impress you, trust me. So we've got this little kettle. Um, Hamilton, I believe, is the name of it. It's from Walmart. But it's just a little stainless steel kettle. And I got a 12-ounce bottle of water. We're going to just pour this water right here in there and 12 ounces will make you a soup and a cup of coffee real easily uh, for my big coffee that's about what it is you shut the lid you just press this little button here on the back side and when that thing pops up you're gonna have water and this is just running off of my inverter right now so we're gonna let it count down here and see just how fast it is Let's say we're going to have breakfast so you can have these little oats. Or another one is uh, apples and cranberries, you know, uh, oatmeal. Another quick little meal that's very, very delicious. You can't beat them, man, I'm telling you. And it's, you know, what else is a dollar? This is 98 cents. This is a hot, a hot meal right here. I hear that water boiling already. I mean, it ain't even been a minute. Can you hear that thing roar? That's a hard boil, buddy. I mean, less than, what, 30 minutes? Or less than 30 seconds? It was well in the twos when I started this video. Well, this thing is really heating up fast, boy. It holds one liter of water. So it'll show you just how fast this sucker will boil water. <laughs> I mean, that's fast. But, I mean, it's already hotter right now than you could drink. I'll guarantee you that. Let me see the steam pouring out of the top of it already. I mean, that's saying it's supposed to pop off automatically. I just, there it just clicked off. So, that's not even a minute. One minute it's popped that thing off to where it's already done. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have some oatmeal this morning. And what it says is you peel the top off of your oatmeal. And there's a little line down inside there that you can just barely see. That's a black line that says to fill that up with hot water to the top of that line. So we'll just pour it right in the oats. Pour this water right up to that line. And just let it sit. Now, I mean, it's boiling through this already. It says to stir it. So we'll give this a quick little stir. But I mean, this sucker's still boiling inside of here. And then let it says, let let seep for two minutes. You wouldn't be able to eat it anyway, it's so hot. 
So you just let it set there for a couple minutes and it makes it just fine. You get these ratios. I mean, this right here, you let regular oatmeal set for five minutes. I mean, it's still hot. It's still very hot. It's just about getting to where you can just about drink it at five minutes. I mean, it doesn't cool off that fast. <coughs> but I mean, you know, to reg make just regular oatmeal. You take regular oatmeal and put it in here and do that. And it comes out just as good. Um, yeah, grits. Yeah, you know, that's going to take 30 minutes on a simmer, no matter what you do on full regular grits. But these are just instant grits. But if you use instant grits, you can get those too. Um, pastas, things like that. Anything, anything that says to boil water for, you know, boiling pasta, like making pasta, say it's like for, um, uh, what is it, like uh, angel hair, I believe it's like five or six minutes. Um regular regular size pasta you're looking at around nine to ten minutes but um you take this here just bust it put it in a container cover it with water sl you know slur it around a little bit and just let it seep in that boiling hot water and honestly it's going to cook that pasta just add an extra minute to it if you want you know and just and taste it and if it's not just let it sit for a little bit longer all these like soups pasta soups and things like that uh, pasta dinners you know like the you know the uh, survival dinners and stuff you can get you know for the uh, camping uh, is all the same way you just open the bag pour the water into the bag stir it around just let it sit and that boiling water will actually cook itself right there but um, I mean it's been about a minute so far I think so I just let it get it a little bit longer but these are good ideas. Look how fast that was. I mean, I could have already been drinking my coffee. I could have seeped it through my little cup, which I could have easily done less than a minute, and filled my 12 ounce glass of, of uh, you know of uh, coffee up. And could have sit, sit right here within a minute, within one minute or two minutes maximum. You know, for me making it and boiling the water, I'm sitting here drinking a cup of coffee with you. And enjoying you know what we've got and not have to waste any time it's safe it's on my inverter it's no longer pulling power from my inverter it's not keeping it hot it's just it's a stainless steel you know insulated mug basically is what this thing is and uh, just got a heating element in it but um, yeah, you clean it the same way, just like a regular coffee pot, you know, a little bit of vinegar or uh, what they call that cream of tartar. You can use cream of tartar as well. Uh, just to put a little bit in there with some water and let it boil up and you can clean it out. But that'll, that'll do a, a whole liter of water. That's enough to, to take a bath with, you know. A liter of hot boiling water along with another liter of regular water. You got perfect temperature, washcloth, bath type water right there. You can do anything you want to do with that water. You can cook with it. You can clean your dishes with it. You can do all kinds of stuff. And and not have to worry about propane. You don't have to worry about being outside, you know. Um, not have to worry about, you know, the cost or the danger of heating the water. So it's actually pretty, uh, you know, pretty good. Pretty good idea. And for what little bit of power it used, it didn't even didn't even touch that battery, it didn't even touch it. So, I mean, it, you could probably do that 10, 12 times a day, and still not even hardly you know put a dent in that battery. So if you do that, um, you know, get your 2,000 watt inverter, hook it right up to your car battery, and just wire it inside so it's safe. So we can plug this thing directly in actually just use your car battery and I'm sure you know if you're only going to do it once or twice so what even if you're scared of running your battery down turn your engine on for a few seconds start your motor up run it on the run it on the the car battery give it five minutes to recharge the battery back it's no worse than starting your car car probably your starter car, chart takes more power to start your car than this thing does to boil a little cup of water so give out a thought. 
um, these are some things that makes it simple for people that are camping on the road. You know, different you know different scenarios, living in the vans, living in the cars. This is just something you can pull right out. And go right to town. Of course, then I've showed you my other little one. You know, if I've got time and I'm driving around, you know, I've got my other little kettle. This one here, that'll do it. In about uh, it takes about 20 minutes to boil that thing full of water. But that's still enough water right here to do just as much as I want to do. But if I'm driving down the road, this one plugs into my cigarette lighter on and runs off the car. That one's just as good. Um, but I did like the idea of this one here, you know, of when you're just stationary camping, you know, waking up first thing in the morning, pour you a bottle of water in there, turn this thing on before you even wipe the stuff out of your eyes. You know, <laughs> you're ready to brush your teeth and wipe down or clean up or whatever you need to do. Make your coffee, make your meal. You know, everyone, especially us older guys, you know, we need a little bit of oatmeal once in a while you know, to keep us going. So these are things that just sort of laugh with us and about us. But, you know, you'll, you'll get that way when you get older. But anyway, I figured I'd share that with you. And um, plus it's stainless. It's not going to break. So just keep that in mind as well. I mean, they make them in glass, and they make all kinds of different ones. They even make a cheaper one in plastic. But that's that thing is uh, 1995 or something like that. I think it was. So it's less than 20 bucks, you know, for the whole kettle. So what can you say? You get the plastic one for around 15. So in my eyes, you know, stainless is going to last a whole lot longer. It's not going to break. You know, you ain't going to bust it up. So you know, spend the money wisely and buy something good. But yeah, that right there, you you know, you make your coffee in there, your tea or whatever. You can have the probably sit there. That whole thing will stay hot for probably an hour at least, you know, to where you can actually drink with it. So you know, that's the way I look at it. So I think our oatmeal's done. Yep, it's done. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water, actually. I don't like it just that thick, actually. I like my oatmeal a little bit thinner. <laughs> yeah, that water's still boiling. Probably burn my mouth just trying this stuff. But yeah, here it goes. Here's a taste test. God bless you. This thing actually needs to sit for about another five minutes. Just to cool off where you can eat it. Mm. That's pretty good oatmeal. For an instant oatmeal, that's very good oatmeal. But that's the oatmeal that I used right there. So, I don't have anything to tie with any of these products. I'm just showing you what's on the market. I bought these at Walmart. And, uh, I've eaten these here, you know, before. So, I know that they are very good. <laughs> and the same as ramen noodles, things like that. I mean, you can make a thing of ramen noodles in just a quick time, too. Just add your own hot sauces, things like that to it. And dress it up. Does just as well. Use some just regular vegetables, get some, you know, broccoli, things like that. You can put in there as well, just a little bit of that. And like I said, five minutes the same as steaming it for five minutes, or steam, you know, same as boiling it is still the five minutes is what it takes. It's not so much the heat as much as it is the time that it takes. So, hey, God bless y'all. Have a great day. Catch you around next time.